Cut. All right, that's good. Uh, five minutes or so until the next shot. Okay, while we're taking a break, I'm gonna go drop the kids off at the pool. Casey, do you need anything before we shoot again? Yeah, no, I think we're, oh no, 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 I need my apron. Evan, you mind getting that for her? Yeah. Kidding, homicidal. This food's killing my insides. It's gonna be a while, bruh. I told you it's gonna be a while, pal, so you might wanna get lost. Dude, in case you can't smell it, it's gonna be a while. traditionally gets a bad rap, but for horror fans, it's just another excuse to celebrate our favorite machete-wielding maniac. Today, I'll be showing you how to make Camp Crystal Cake. Don't be intimidated by the piping of the hockey masks. That's actually the easiest part of the entire recipe. If you can trace a picture, you can make this cake. For your cake batter, you'll need 3 fourths a cup of white sugar, one cup of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one tablespoon of water, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and four large eggs. You'll also need an 11 by 17 jelly roll pan or rimmed baking sheet, a sheet of parchment paper, nonstick cooking spray, and a copy of the Jason mask template. For decorating your Camp Crystal Cake, you'll need one batch of decorating paste, which is made by whisking together two tablespoons of melted butter or margarine, one third a cup of flour, two tablespoons of white sugar, and one egg white. You'll also need pastry bags fitted with small tips and your decorating colors of choice. I'm using blue, red, and black gel food coloring. You'll also need one batch of your filling or frosting of choice. Since I'm making a cake celebrating everyone's favorite camp slasher, I've made a campfire treat inspired toasted marshmallow frosting. For this full recipe and to download the template, please check out thehomicidalhomemaker.com. First, place your printed template onto your baking sheet and then top with parchment paper. Then spray your parchment paper with nonstick cooking spray. Next, color your decorating paste and place into pastry bags. If the paste seems a little too soft, go ahead and place the bags in the refrigerator for a few minutes to help it firm up. Then begin tracing your templates, starting with the black and red details of the hockey masks. If you mess up, don't worry, just scrape it off and start over. When finished piping, place the tray into the freezer for about 10 or 15 minutes just to harden it. Then trace the white portion of the hockey masks and return to the freezer for another 10 to 15 minutes. Let's get started on our cake batter. First, preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. In a small bowl, mix together your baking powder and flour. In a separate bowl or in the bowl of a stand mixer, start beating your eggs and gradually add the sugar while the eggs are beating. Beat the mixture for about two to three minutes until the eggs are foamy and light yellow in color. Then add in your vanilla extract and beat until combined. Then gradually add in the flour mixture with a spoon until combined. Then add in your tablespoon of water and fold until combined. Then add in your food coloring. Remove the tray from the freezer and carefully remove the template from beneath the parchment. Pour the batter over your design and spread with a spatula. 
Bake for about 10 minutes and watch closely. You don't want to overbake your cake. If you overbake it, it has a tendency to crack when you roll it up. Lay out a sheet of parchment paper on your counter and lightly dust with powdered sugar. As soon as your cake is out of the oven, use a spatula to loosen the edges. Then flip out onto parchment paper. Remove the parchment that the cake was baked on and then flip over onto another sheet of parchment paper. Then roll up the cake with the parchment paper. Allow to fully cool before frosting. When the cake is completely cooled, very carefully unroll it and spread with your filling or frosting of choice. Then just roll it back up and you're done. Hey Casey, what do you think about getting a close up of... Casey? Close up of what? what happened to the last guy who forgot to subscribe to me on YouTube, so be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so the same thing doesn't happen to you.